Hi everyone, this is Kun. I will talk about Colossus Magna and introduce three optimized fire magna weapon grids in this video. We'll look at Colossus Magna itself in the first part. You can use timestamp under the video description to skip to the second part. You'll be able to see all the three weapon grids here. With 30 million HP, deadly skills and powerful single attack, Colossus used to be one of the hardest bosses in Grand Fantasy especially for first generation of players who started the game in 2014. In the first half of the fight, from 100% to 50%, there's chance for Colossus to cast either Resolute Reactor or Force Field during Ogi. Resolute Reactor is an early skill which increases Colossus' damage and reduces its defense at the same time. It also casts a DoD debuff on your team. This skill is not deadly, but extremely painful for players who don't use seal and have less than 8000 HP. Force Fuel is a weaker AoE skill compared with Resolute Reactor. It will reduce Colossus damage and boost the boss with fire resistance, higher defense, and regeneration buff, which is very, very annoying, especially when you're using Water Team for the fight. Once you get past the 50% mark, Colossus will stop using these two skills and instead welcome you with its most deadly move, Dimensional Cleave, which is an instant kill for most characters unless you use 100% seal to cut the damage. It's worth to mention that you can also trigger Dimensional Cleave at 30%, 20%, 10%, and 5% HP respectively if the boss is not fully doted. That's why Colossus is one of the worst enemies for new players who want to have some solo fun. Fighting Colossus isn't really hard if you bring characters with seal like Catalina, Potato, Lily, Uno, extra. If you struggle to survive while soloing the boss, maybe you can try to bring Phalanx, use um, Aeropa and Kaguya, but most of the time, one single blue button can solve all the problems, so I don't think you should push yourself too hard in soloing Colossus, unless you want to give yourself some challenges to create the fun or to test your character's skill and firepower in a real fight. Alright, so today I'm going to show you three optimized fire weapon grids. The first one is pretty standard, we use Colossus and Shiva as summon combination. This grid consists of 5 Colossus stuff, 3 Xeno Ifri Axis, 1 Seraphic Weapon, and 1 Bamboo Weapon. Although Colossus stuff has the lowest raw states in Grim Fantasy, Xeno X compensates its weakness really well as the latter has very attractive firepower. The damage output of this grid is very decent and consistent. It's good enough for you to compete in most races and events, including Rose Queen and Guild War but it won't provide you any extra critical damage due to the lack of critical weapon skill. So they are good and bad about this grid and it is also very difficult to get 3 copies of fully uncapped Xeno access in a short period of time. But this is the basic shape and foundation of an optimized fire marker weapon grid. If you think 3 Xeno access are impossible for you, you can try to replace them with other unknown weapons first like Rose weapons, Pinya Axe, Pinya Sword, or fully uncapped Phoenix Katana from the Rise of the Beast event. The introduction of Akasek creates a very interesting twist to Fire Magna Weaponry. You can get this weapon from level 100 Flame Glass. There are two types of Akasek in Grim Fantasy. On your left is normal Akasek, which is used for Primal Grid. You can see a glowing light in its icon. But since it's not related to Magna Grid, we're not going to touch it today. The other one without glowing light is Magna or Ancient Akase. I'm going to share two more optimized Magna Fire Grids here, and this weapon will be the main focus today. At first glance, the raw stats of Akase may look a little bit pathetic, but its skills make it one of the best Magna weapons in the game. The Salir skill gives us medium boost to fire character's attack and critical hit rate when fighting against wind. That means 12% increase in attack and 5% critical rate at level 10 weapon skill per weapon, which is a very nice package. Besides, it also comes with a small amity skill which increases your attack as your HP drops. This is a very important tweak because it helps not just to compensate the weakness of medium attack skill but to further enhance the potential of this weapon. If you have no idea how amity works, you can refer to the table on the right. 
Even though Akasek only offers a small amity skill, it still proved to be very powerful if you have several of them in your weapon grid, especially when you have characters like Zahamelina or Zui in your team. Now, before I show you the optimized grids, I need you to be very patient and take a look at the critical rate of ancient Akasek after multiplier of our summon combinations. I'm going to introduce you a Colossus plus Shiva grid and a double Colossus grid. Magna grid is different from Primal grid. When the system calculates your chance of landing a critical hit, it only considers the total sum of a critical rate. So if you are playing Magna critical, all you have to do is to increase the number of ancient Akase in your weapon grid. Basically, there are four types of critical bonuses at the moment in Great Fantasy. The one from weapon skill provides 50% bonus damage when it strikes, and this is the essence we are going to leverage in these two weapon grids. The grid on the left is a Colossus plus Shiva weapon grid. It is exactly the same with our standard mana grid. We only need to change all the staffs one by one into Akase. Five tree branches offer you a 50% chance to deal 50% extra damage when you land a critical hit. Its damage output exceeds the standard grid when your HP reduces to less than 75%. This grid is my favorite because it's well balanced in all aspects and most importantly, it is within most people's reach as long as they are patient enough. So if you are a semi-hardcore player who want to enjoy critical hits, this might be your best choice. The grid on the right is double Colossus weapon grid. Yes, 7 holy moly Akasex. The best thing about this grid is the invincible 100% critical rate. This grid is powerful, but it lacks flexibility in terms of some combinations and formation. So one single later change in the game meta may turn all the things upside down. Again, I would like to emphasize, Critical hit only happens when you go against a weaker element. So these two grids only work when you're fighting against wind enemies. If you want to use fire team on bosses of other elements, you still have to go back to the standard mana grid or primal grids without critical skill. Alright, that's all for optimized fire mana weapon grids. I hope you liked this video. Please don't forget to share it with friends and subscribe to my channel if you're first time here. If you want to see more quality contents, if you want Kun to create more videos, please support me through Patreon. Together, we can make a difference and create a more enjoyable gameplay experience for players all over the world. Know yourself, know a game, and play like a pro. This is Kun. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on!